Hey everyone, this is Connor McBride for First Updates Now. I'm here at Battle Cry 20, checking in with Team 2168, the Aluminum Falcons from Groton, Connecticut. They're also district championship winners as well. We want to go over a little bit about your robot, so please introduce yourself. Let's talk about your two-in-one hatch panel and cargo mechanism. Really cool pass-through intake. I want to know more about it. All right. Uh, I'm Ron Feaster. I'm a CAD student and mechanical student. Uh, so essentially, when we first were coming up with ideas, we decided we wanted to have a pass-through system because uh, we wanted to shorten our uh, time, our cycle time. So essentially, this is the claw right here. I'll move this out of the way. Yeah. And uh, so this is our cargo man manipulator here, where this uh, brings the cargo into it and this contains the cargo. Uh, it's like kind of fitting the shape of the uh, cargo in general. And this is our hatch manipulator. Uh, so we have our sensors here. So uh, as long as we're pressing a certain button, uh, if two or more of these are pressed, the uh, hatch manipulator will automatically uh, separate out. So there are two fingers that separate out of here and uh, hold the hatch panel in place. The whole system passes through the robot allowing us to take a more direct path from the uh, feeder station to the uh, placement area. Um, and we also integrated our intake with our climbing system. Uh, so our climbing system, essentially we walk up or we drive up to the uh, pad level and this arm goes down simultaneously with these stingers pressed down with wheels underneath them. Uh, we also uh, semi-recently automatized that uh, process. you want to talk about that? Yeah. So yeah, I'm Alyssa Solomon. I'm a programming student on the team. So this year, uh, we're, we're really big on PID. So we run uh, time-based PID loops to simultaneously drive down the stingers and the uh, monkey bar to ensure that our robot stays level as it comes up to the level of the platform. And um, another feature that's been really important to our success here is obviously our vision. Vision is really big. We, we don't have vision on all the time. We have a little button on our driver controller. It's really easy. You press the button, it auto aligns while you drive forward under your own power. We, we have the ability to use it with both cargo and hatches, but obviously since hatch placement is really important in this game, we primarily use it with the hatches. So that's why we have on this side of the robot, because this is the, uh, the, the right height to be scoring hatches easily. All right, that's going to wrap it up with this interview. Once again, Team 2168, the Aluminum Falcons, amazing robot this year. You guys should be very proud of yourselves. They're going to be competing later, uh, mid-July, at the Indiana Robotics Invitational, representing New England. You guys are going to represent them proud. Can't wait to see what you guys do later on in the future. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.